This video will show you how to log in to Windows Live properly, including creating an account. Go to the website, the link will be in the description below. Click on create one. Use a valid email address. Click next. Type in a password. Type in your name. Add a country and a date of birth. Now check your email to get the code. Copy and paste and next. Type in whatever nonsense here and click next. If you did it correctly, it will take you to this page. Click on Microsoft on the upper left corner. Click on Xbox. Click on the silhouette of a person on your left side. Click I accept. If done correctly, you created an Xbox Live account. Now start a game that uses games for Windows Live. Note, some game will require a manual update. Click yes. Once it's done downloading, you will have the option to close the game. Or it's closed by itself. Now go to Explorer. Go to your user Windows account. Go to the App Data folder. If you don't see it, click on Organize and Folder and Search option. Click on View, Show Hidden Files. Local folder, click on the Microsoft folder, click on X Live, click on the Update and locate the file of that particular game. Once you locate it, click Content, click Data, copy the file in that folder. Go to your Steam library, right click on the game, click Properties, click on Local Files, Browse local files and copy and paste everything to that particular game folder. Once you are done, start the game. Hit the home key. Click sign in. Type in your email and password that you used to create the Xbox Live account. Click sign in. And you are done. As you can see, you are online. As for the name of the account, it is randomly generated. You can change that by going to your Xbox Live account that I will not cover in this video. The methods shown in this video work for every games for Windows Live account that I have. And multiplayer seem to function for all of them that I have played personally. By the way, if you're looking for the installer for game for Windows Live, you can find it in the game. As you can see here. I try to condense this video the best I can. Unfortunately, game for Windows make it a bit complicated. I hope this was useful. And remember, it depending on the game. Some you won't have to manually update it, some you will not have to do nothing at all besides logging in. Hopefully this video cover everything. Goodbye.